All right, so in this new series of Mental Essential Gentlemen, I just wanted to get out and get some fresh air and also answer your questions in a much detailed manner. You liked the previous Q&A that we did on the Hindi channel, you all have enjoyed the English Q&As as well. So why not just take one question at a time and give it the importance it deserves and help you with the best possible answers that I personally can. So without wasting any more time, without delaying things any further, let's just jump right into it. My name is Vangana Charya. These are your questions answered. Let's roll. Then. Been a little too nice for y'all. Now I got a up price for y'all. Snake eyes with dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. A6 all the hate. I woke in a bar today. Got lost in the ball and A's. I'm flipping the bars. I'm flipping the flipping the flipping the all record. All right, so this question is a mix of three questions actually. They're all in the same category, so I'll put them all together. One, how do you mentally prepare yourself to be patient and enjoy the process? Two, I ha I'm a YouTuber with only 3000 subs. I'm confused about my career. What do I do? And three, how do you plan and grow your Instagram audience? Well, all of these things are kind of similar in one way or the other. The easy way out is you figure out what you really want to do and you make content out of it. For the very first question that we have, what was the question that we have? How do you mentally prepare yourself to be patient and enjoy the process? See, this question answers the remaining two questions, to be honest, in one way or the other. How do you grow on Instagram? How do you be on YouTube? Well, you start being patient and you start enjoying the process of making more videos and making more content. The easy way out is it's difficult. It takes a lot of time. Yes, there are some anomalies. Yes, there are some one video wanderers out there, but it has taken me over seven years of producing content to make this thing happen for you. So let this be a realistic guide that it does take time but if you keep at it and if you keep evolving if you keep trying out new things again true to your value true to your essence then guess what you will eventually get there how do you grow on instagram you have to be a part of the community you have to give back to the community you have to add value in some way or the other now how can you add value to the community well by interacting to all the people you know by talking to other people's videos on different channels not by spamming them about your instagram page or your youtube channel but by genuinely giving value by genuinely helping someone and by adding some sort of value to their life. That's one easy and organic way to actually grow your social media by communicating with other people in that space where you want to grow and become successful. If you have 3000 subscribers and you want to choose either that or the other things, what would you do and what are your career options you ask? Well, I have been wanting to do this since, since, I, since YouTube didn't even exist I guess like I don't even know YouTube was there wasn't there at least I wasn't aware of YouTube back then that you could make money off of YouTube and whatnot so filmmaking was always something that I wanted to do filming and shooting was something that I always was a fan of but I never knew that I'll be in front of camera I was always the guy who was much more happier being behind the camera but here's the thing if you would really want to do this full time then you wouldn't be asking this question that you're confused in your career you would want to do something that you're a fan of you would want to do something that is truly inspiring and ambitious to you if you really think this is something you would want to do 5, 10, 15 years and you will not get bored, you will have fun with it. It's not the content that you will make but the whole process of making content or producing YouTube videos or whatever that there is. If you think you like it, not the kind of videos. Again, no, don't get confused by the kind of videos. I have evolved my video making, I have evolved my film making and my storytelling per se but the core quality, the core concept is still the same. I love producing videos. If you think that that's your goal, if you think that you are in the same headspace like what I was, then you don't even have to ask this question, you just have to keep at it. It will take some time, you can take some part-time job and learn to live life while you're doing this as your side business and eventually when your YouTube channel blows up, you'll be happily living your life only based on your YouTube. But it takes time, it's a slow process and you have to instill some patience in the process. Which brings me to the last question. How do you mentally prepare yourself for the patient and enjoy the process? By looking at the map. Okay, there are two quick answers. I would have said that by looking at the macro picture and not focusing on the micro, but the sad reality is we all live on a micro life. We all live our life on a daily basis. So it's very difficult for us to not think about the moment and the place in time where we are and always focus on the bigger shape. See, here's what I think you can do that can change your inspiration bulb and make you think things a whole lot differently. I would want you to start writing down things that you have actually done or achieved in your life. So while you were at your process, while you were patient and enjoying the process, write down things that you have actually achieved or gained in it. For example, if you have maybe gained a thousand subscribers or if you have maybe made hundred sales, maybe if you have got a promotion in your work or maybe you have done this or done that, whatever that you have done, write it down and make sure you know it for a fact that you have actually achieved something doing what you believed in and by believing in the process and by being patient with the process because these things are something that can actually make you very happy from within. 
Indian family and our Desi Samaj does not talk about the importance of gratitude and self-awareness. It's high time you start practicing it. It's high time you start believing in your own good damn self. I hope this helps. I hope this was well worth your time. You ask questions, I'll keep answering them. Read them below. I'll see you in the next one. Dress up, stay strong, stay silent. Zen. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I gotta up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. A6 all the hay. I woke in a bar today. Got lost in the ball and A's. I'm flipping the bars. I'm flipping the flipping the flipping the all record off record. I still count wins when they got it. All record off record. I let them take advantage. I was wildin' all record off record deals.